Elf activists are not terrorists. The heroes are risking their own freedom to free innocent living beings. And if you then think that they are stealing property from farmers or vivisectionists, then so were the Underground Railroad, the 19th century America. Thieves were stone the property of white slave owners. Without one doubt, the Animal Liberation Front or the Justice Department activists or the Armed Animal Rights Metallica are akin to Harriet Tumpman and the Underground Railroad of free the slaves from the South. Without one doubt, if the Justice Department or the Arm Animal Rights Metallica destroys or injured maybe accidentally one fifth section or an exploiter of animals called a um, farmer then it is akin to when the allied forces storm into the concentration camps of Bergenhout and Auschwitz and harmed Nazis in the process of freeing the Jews and the Gypsies. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody's glass house, people. Politicians, stop harassing, slandering, and lying about activists. It is time to you put the mirror of the truth in your face. And look to your own evil actions. Stop being a hypocrite. The Animal Liberation Front specific how nothing harmed anybody in their whole more than 40 years uh, existence. In contrary with cops or the FBI, how constants harass anybody? How do I deceive, lie in court? How you choose to defect? Like Martin Luther King once of say, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. There will come one day that you have to take a position that is neither safe, neither popular, neither politically correct, but you can't just say that it is right. Just like slavery was totally wrong, totally barbaric, and totally unjustifiable, so is the consumption of other animals and wearing them for a fashion statement. And if this starting point is controversial and hard to you, maybe it is time to watch things from the victim's point of view. Is that to be an arrogant, self-righteous douchebag like Hammond, the governor of the South, of um, the 19th century America. What do you say? Your bullshit reasoning in the abstract. If it be some moral or political question, or me a question in politics, surprised on more hatred In the arrogance and recklessness, never forget, forget completely our position and our rights. The destruction of our property. Stop being so American, self righteous. Lower this beggary level a little bit. When you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims and label them stupid and dirty. Mock their entire existence. Like Hitler. Like slave masters like Hammond, like Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin, and many more of those evil scumbags have all gone through the Pacific victims. But when you stand up for the victims, or you being the victim, things look a lot different from that point of view.
And that's what I try to let people do. What situations from the victim's point of view? Vivisectionists are not the victims. Farmers are not the victims. There are the perpetrators. There are the vandals. There are the cruel, lying scum. So, like always, all victimizers are lying, disgusting scum. Rapists also say not uh, a thing that I've done is completely wrong. Now they make a lie up in their minds to justify their cruel behavior. Basic cruel criminal psychology. That's what victimizers always do. Desensitize, lie, blame others. Pretty interesting from a psychologist's perspective. If you know a little bit about history. Men in America were afraid, afraid that when women get their equal rights in society, their lives will be a less fair road and society will collapse. Whites in America were afraid that when blacks get their rights and be treated equal, society collapse and their life will be fewer or less. Heterosexuals, heterosexuals are afraid that when gays get her rights to marry, society will collapse and their life will be far less. And so our carnists are afraid that when animals are not no longer being seen as inanimate objects, their life will be fewer or less and society will collapse. Now you come to kick her. That is totally rubbish to take. And that is only in your sick, delusional, narrow minded, oppressor's mindset a reality. Why not choose compassion over violence? Why not costing the least amount of harm possible by going vegan? What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible in the planet? There is no excuse against vegans. Accept it. Make a plea and move forward. When darkness and light become one, reality is splitting away and the truth will become invisible.